Alright, so this video is about reforging. And to reforge, I like to use a program online called wowreforge.com. And it kind of does what you see here. It shows uh, all your items, all the enchants and gems and stuff you have in them, and uh, what they have that you can reforge from and to. And basically is how it works is that you plug in all the numbers for the stat weights, and that's just how good each stat is. And after you plug in the numbers for that, then you just press the, uh, the calculate optimize button and it just figures out what the best way for you to reforge is to get the most out of your gear. And on the bottom left corner there you'll notice that the uh, stat weights for hit and mastery are super high and then it has, uh, has an um, over cap uh, stat weight so you can set the weight of the stat after you're over the cap of that so you see how hit is really high there but after the cap defaulted is zero we don't want that because after cap hit is actually good. It's somewhere in between mastery and crit. So I put 1.75. Uh, the other ones are like number crunched, you know, calculated things of what's actually the best. But it seems to be pretty old because it has the uh, after cap hit is really low when it's actually better than that now. So 1.7 got me some pretty good results. So after you plug in the after cap hit to 1.75. Uh, then you got to take account for in case you have any extra uh, expertise or hit things in there that it may not be accounting for. For example, any weapon specializations. Now since this is my uh, alt warrior and he's a human, he has weapon specializations. He's got uh, sword and mace spec. Now be careful, don't do what this shows right here. Don't have mace and swords collected at the same time. They both give plus three expertise. Uh, the the system has a bug in it. Uh, it may be fixed by now, but if you select both of them, it'll add them together, which is impossible. Uh, so it'll give you six expertise, and you'll end up uh, it'll end up calculating wrong because it'll try and hit the cap on the dot. So if you select both of these, you'll end even if you have a sword and a mace, it'll uh, it'll end up being giving you 23 expertise because it'll think that it'll add them together there. So this is what it should look like right here. We have mace picked. Uh, even if you have a sword, just pick sword. If you have a mace and a sword, just pick one. So it doesn't give you the option to hit that select button. It's kind of grayed out there. So if you, uh, the only way to get that to light up that I found is to just press tab a few times until it lights up. And then you can hit that select button and it'll calculate that in. So after you've double checked and made sure you're in the right gear and that you've updated, you've hit the update button, on the the top so you know you have the same gear here loaded in as you do in game and it's your gear you're actually using uh, if you don't have the right gear on for it it'll obviously it won't calculate it correctly so make sure you have the hit cap set right your over cap weight set to 1.75 uh, if anyone actually knows the exact number that uh, the stat weight is for hit um, definitely leave that in a comment so we can put that in there it doesn't matter as much as long as it's in between that crit and mastery somewhere in between there um, you have your your weapon specializations calculated in and then you press the uh, the optimize button and if everything's done right it should tell you what to put everything where so after that just get right here it tells you where to put everything it tells you where to take the stat from and where to add the stat to and uh, if sometimes it'll have things where it'll have you remove something like, well, wait, why do I want to remove that there? Isn't that something I want? Uh, but is what it'll do, it tries to hit things on the dot. It'll try to hit your, your, your mastery, or, or not mastery, it'll try to hit your like, expertise cap on the dot. So is what it'll do often is that if you have two places with, uh, with different values of expertise, it'll take the one that will end up having you closest to your, uh, to your cap. So it'll it'll ne never put you under, but it usually usually is on by maybe a couple points over, if not on the dot. So then, yeah, just head over to the Arcane Reforger and do everything it tells you here. Double check afterwards to make sure that the stats it says you're going to get are the stats you actually have. If not, you need to just kind of go back through it and double check and make sure you did everything right. Um, yeah. Also, it will give you multiple solutions. Uh, you can just sift through them to see if there's one you like more than the others. Usually zero is the, the one that it's think, it thinks is the most optimal. Um, just whichever one. Uh, if you think another one is better, it's happened before for me, uh, use that one.